What's up, Dunwoody? Welcome back to the podcast all about Dunwoody, Georgia. The show is brought to you by Dr. Brett Friedman with Village Orthodontics. And uh, my name is Matt Weber. I talk about Dunwoody on this podcast, if you haven't joined us before. And Scott Wilkinson is uh, also heavily in the Dunwoody community, he helps with the parade. Um, and then Leah's here with us as well. But Scott, I want to talk about the parade. You think it went pretty smoothly this year, right? This was one of the best years we've had. Um, other than the that. fact that it's become so popular, it's sort of a victim of its own success. There was no parking. Yeah. Uh, I work the, at the, the festival I, I was almost end. too big. Yeah, I work at the end, and, and that's where the parking lot is. The best thing about working at the end is you get all the people who are – this is their first parade they've ever been to. Yeah. Some of them have have go, 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 go. Keep moving. Keep moving. Yeah, they, they show up, and what are we supposed to do? Where are we supposed to go? What is this? And they, they, they show up you know, 10 minutes before it starts, and – um, but they they all show up wearing their carrying their flags and they're all very excited about it. That, that's a lot. Yeah, of fun. I think it went pretty well. You always do a good job at the end, and that's uh, somewhere where you know me and Penny are always at the beginning, trying to get everybody organized and stuff. And so it's nice to have a reliable volunteer at the end. Um, but I guess let's use that as a call to action. So if you'd like to volunteer with the parade this year, I don't have anything to send you to, but you can email me or call me uh, Matt at what's up done dot com. All right, this is starting to get really awkward. Let's let's get into what we're supposed to be talking about with Theater 1548. So, Scott, you've been on the podcast before to talk about yeah. the plays, the shows at Dunwood United Methodist. But you've rebranded. You're kind of going a different different direction, trying to make this a, a bigger thing. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, I wouldn't say so much a different direction. We're still going to be doing very similar. But during COVID, we, of course, had to sort of ramp down and um, – our previous director retired and they asked me to direct of all things. Um, and it's taken us a while to recover. And our last show, uh, Into the Woods, was a huge success. We have brought a new director in, Joy Gregory. She's now on staff. She's doing the contemporary service there and some other things, modern music. Um, and as part of that, we really wanted to do more of an outreach to the community and find people like Leah um, who are more professional and have, can bring that experience into our theater. Um, and part of that was we wanted to make sure make sure people understood that we were going to be held to a higher standard than some volunteers putting something together sort of in our free time um, at a church. So we, we branded as 3 or 1548. It's easier to go under resumes. It, it sort of makes us stand out. We are still a ministry of Dunwoody United Methodist. And yeah. if Joy was here, she would be very, very clear. We are a ministry of Dunwoody United Methodist. They support yeah. us. Um, we use their facilities. Um, and Leah will talk to you a little bit about what it means to her to come to a church and perform. Um, so it, so we've, we've done some rebranding. We now have a Theater 1548 Facebook page and Instagram and those kind okay. of things. But this is our 20th year. We've been doing this for 20 years. And uh, we have three shows we're going to do this season. But the first one is the one that's the big one, the Sister Act. So we're talking about entertainment today. This kind of ties in. Discover Dunwoody is recognizing the hard work of professionals in the entertainment industry through their new recognition program. This initiative honors individuals who contribute to production, travel, procurement, and you know, showcasing their efforts in making Dunwoody a great destination, a great place for people to stay when they're filming around Atlanta. By supporting these professionals, Discover Dunwoody strengthens you know, ties within the industry, within our community, and promotes our city as a prime location for filming and events. So follow Discover Dunwoody on social media to learn more about these inspiring stories. And if you know somebody coming to celebrate these stories, these achievements, direct them to discoverdunwoody.com backslash what's up Dunwoody for hotel options. By booking through that link, they'll be supporting my show and supporting the city of Dunwoody and helping to highlight the incredible work being done in our community. Yeah. And I like I, I loved that movie growing up. Um, and so, Leah, you are Sister Act. Tell us a little bit about how you got pulled into this. Um, well, um, about actually um, of seven months ago, I auditioned at a completely different theater for this same show. And the show that that the role of Dolores, which is who I will be playing in the show, was already cast. And. Unfortunately, I did not get cast in that production, so I kind of took a little, <laughs> I took a little break from auditioning, and my mom one day came to me, and she was like, are you open to auditioning again? I was like, woman, I was literally like, woman, are you crazy? And then <laughs> she was like, she was like, no, I'm not crazy, she said, I'm for real, and I was like, why are you asking me this? Because there's obviously a reason, and she told me that, you know, Theater 1548 was doing a production of Sister Act. And I was like, okay, because she's obviously pushing me to do something. So I, I decided to do it. And she took me to the auditions that day. And no, I did not know that it was at a church. 
but that also made me. It's not feel... at a church. It's at 1548. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Sorry, um, so I didn't know that, but that actually relaxed me a little bit um, yeah. when I did audition. And I wasn't going in with any. Um, I was. I didn't have the mindset of um, I'm going to get this part. I just wanted to be in the show, no matter what part I had. Yeah. Um, and so, but when I walked in the room for the first time, when I auditioned, uh, during the audition, I literally, I knew I was supposed to be not only a part of the show, but I just knew that I was supposed to be a part of the community at the church. Yeah. Um, I've met so many people and have been presented like even more opportunities beyond just being in the show. Um, like in January, I'm going to start like um, doing the children's musical at the church. Like that's insane. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be helping Miss Joy with like musical theater summer camp over the summer. So that's also insane. But that's something that I already do already. But the fact yeah. that I get to do it with somebody that's just like as amazing as her is crazy. That's cool. Um, that's what happens when you come to Dunwoody. We pull you in and say, never let you in. You're talented and we like you, so you're staying. <laughs> Does your mom still live in the area? I know you said you kind of grew up in the area. Um, so how we actually ended up in like the Sandy Springs Dunwoody area is I attended High Point, Ridgeview, and Riverwood, and I've also worked at Holy Innocence Episcopal School okay. over for three summers as the dance teacher for Horizons Atlanta. But my mm. mom was the assistant principal at High Point when I was in elementary school. And she stayed there until I was fourth grade, but she didn't want to take me out of school for my friends. Um, so that that's how we ended up up there. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah. How was it going to school when your mom was in charge? Um, <laughs> like it is when I'm rehearsal. You can't. She's you, in charge. You can't do anything. <laughs> you can't get in trouble. You can't get in trouble. Even though I'm the main one that gets in trouble. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you can't do anything. Yeah. Is this one of your favorite parts that you've played? I think it would be really fun to play this part. Yes, because the sad part is I am very much so like my character. Yeah. In some great ways and some not so great ways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember the beginning of Sister Act, so that's, that's, yeah. that's funny. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, Scott, we do have a parental advisory on the show. We we're, we suggest you to be thirteen or older to come see it. There are some adult themes in it, and Leah pulls them off very well. <laughs> yeah, but uh, we don't parent nobody's children, so we say the age is thirteen and up, and they're like, eh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mature kids well, when it comes to. You. So, and uh, do you, you are you doing anything else right now? I thought you said, uh, was it in her feeling? That's another one you're doing. Yes. So I'm also doing another production right now. Um, it is called In Her Feelings, and it'll be at the Soul Mill Cultural Arts Center on October the 19th. And it is a dance production that just talks about, well, it is displaying like the spiral of how women go through their emotions through different situations in life, like when they're angry or when they're going through divorce or even when they're happy or they find something that resonates with their communication with Christ or whatever religion they, you know, respect or, yeah, that's that's okay. much it. That's cool. A little less fun than Sister Act, maybe, but that's, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you like singing and dancing? Like I, I remember, um, where, there's all these like old songs that that's what Whoopi did was take these old songs and kind of turn them into church songs. Um, yeah, I bet it's got a, a great, a great, yeah. Um, what is that? The songs that soundtrack. you guys play are great. There you go. Soundtrack. Yeah, it was up for a Tony Award for Best Soundtrack when it first came out. Yeah. yeah. So, Scott, yeah. what what's your part in this play? So, I'm an assistant director for this one. Um, unfortunately, because I have to travel a lot, I, I can't do more than that. I was hoping to actually be on stage for one, but okay. it didn't work out. So, um, what so you I, are I doing do... something leading up to it. Um, leading up to the show. I've been involved from the beginning, yeah. if that's what you meant. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I was part of the casting for it. I've been sort of basically I do everything Joy, the director, doesn't want to do. Yeah. Um, so I, I keep everybody sort of on schedule. I keep the communications going, those kind of things. Okay. <clears throat> but from the beginning, I knew I wouldn't be able to be in the show because I have to travel too much. I was in China last week. I got to be in Europe next week. And 
uh, that unfortunately means I'm going to miss <clears throat> the first show. And uh, I'll, I'll be there for the last one, though. I'll, I, yeah. I've, I've gotten to see, the, I got to see the first dress rehearsal all the way through yesterday or yeah, yesterday. Um, we're doing it in a small room right now. And Leah's voice, she's holding back because yeah. it would hurt us in that room. It's just too loud. <laughs> just too powerful. It's, oh man, I was in tears and I've seen the show a dozen times. It was amazing. Yeah. How many other like big dogs did you bring in like this? How many, how many ringers did you bring in? Is it a lot of people that actually attend Dunwood United Methodist? It's probably about, um, maybe a third to a half people who are in the church. Okay. Um, we do have a, a several ringers. That's in, several important people. too. You want it to be, yeah. you know? Yeah. 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 Uh, we have that core group. In fact, you know, I said we've been around for 20 years. We have one person in the cast who was in that first show 20 years ago. Oh, that's cool. So he's still there, but we have a, a lot of people who are new. We have um, what well, I get to do these little interviews with everybody where I have, have them talk about themselves. We do it for pro promotional. And one of the guys I interviewed, I had no idea. I don't know if you knew this, Leah. Um, his job is he's a Frank Sinatra impersonator in um <laughs> So you've retirement. got your neck ready. <laughs> <laughs> I know who you're talking you know who about. I'm talking about? <laughs> he, he 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 plays Frank Sinatra in like retirement homes, and that's that's his his job. We have several people who are in other shows at the same time, like Leah, um, working all around Atlanta, and it it just brings the whole it brings everybody else up when you're working with people who are this talented who I'm have sure. this kind of professional experience and know what to expect and put into it. Um, yeah. it, just, it brings the whole level of the show up. Yeah. They have to work a little bit harder. So yeah. Leah, have you, have you gotten Scott to dance? Have you gotten him up on stage dancing? I've gotten him to sing, but I <laughs> haven't gotten him to dance. Yeah. But I'm going to make sure that he dances at the cast party. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got to play Leah's, I, I got to play Leah's to... love interest. He was, he was not available and I got to play her love interest. <laughs> And I will say that was her reaction almost every time I said something to her. <laughs> <laughs> Tough to take serious. I, I, I get it. <laughs> um, Sister Act, it was a bunch of, it was about kids. I mean, there's a lot of kids None. in the original movie. Is that how it is? No, it's, it's just about, it's not like there's not kids and it's more, it's the nuns. It's, it's the, the Dolores character right. being put into the nunnery um, and having to, she's supposed to hide there because she's seen a crime happen. That's right. That's um, right. And it's it's her it's the, the the juxtaposition of the two worlds and them finding a way to come together through music. Yeah, well, that's awesome. It's it's it's, um, a, it's a beautiful show. It's a very funny show. And um, what was the date again? October is it fourth, fifth, and sixth, Leah? Yes. For, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, okay. Friday and Saturday at seven, and Sunday at one thirty. Fourth, fifth, and sixth. And when do the tickets go on sale? They're on, on sale the, now. You can get them online. Perfect. If you haven't seen them online, then you haven't been looking close enough. But um. Okay. Uh, go to dunwoodyumc.org and look for Theater 1541, and there's a way to buy tickets now. .org. Okay, I'll look that up and put a link on there. Okay. Well, cool. Anything else you want to talk about? Leah, give, tell, tell everybody how cool it's going to be and how Dunwoody needs to turn up. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. It's already oh. amazing. Yes. It's going to be even more amazing. Yeah, we're practicing, practicing, leading up to it. So yeah, it is going to be even more amazing. Just uh, one of the things that we do at every show is we ask the audience how many people in the audience are members of the church because you know that's always one of the things you're worried about is that you're just you know, bringing in the people that are already captured there. Yeah. And repeatedly, it is less than half. Really? Um, yeah. We publicize this widely. We bring in people from all over Atlanta. Um, very diverse group. All sorts of different experiences. Um, and it, it's brought more and more people into the program and into the church. One of the things that I, I always get up and say, how many of y'all are members of the, are not members of the church? And if the, the head minister is there, he always stands up and says, yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got him there. Got him there. Yeah, theater, once you get him in. Theater 1548 brings him in, and then then you give him a job like Leah. <laughs> That's exactly right. Uh, so, so the, to, Leah, you want to tell him why, um, how you got that job and, and what's going to, what, why? <laughs> Gosh. Okay. So there are, well, there's some people in the cast. Well, everybody's pretty much like family to me, but there's like some people in the cast that are like very close to me, either because I went to school with them or I had a full circle moment with them. Even like my best friend is literally in the show. Oh, that's uh, cool. And it, it's been really exciting to do a show with her. But how I ended up being able to do the children's show in January is. Gretchen, who is um, in the show, she is over 
the children's ministry, like choir uh, at the church. And when I was a, I guess, either preteen or teenager, Gretchen taught me for three summers in a row when I was like maybe ages 13 to 15. And one summer at Georgia Tech, that's where we were doing musical theater camp at the time at the First Center. Uh, Gretchen was my music teacher for three years. And Gretchen decided that she wanted to do a song from Sister Act, the musical. Yeah. And that summer I auditioned for the song and I was like, I'm not going to get that. And she gave me the, the part to sing <laughs> for the song, the solo. And now we're here 50 million years later. And the same me and Gretchen thing. are in a show together. That's and awesome. I have the part and I would have never known the words to the song if it weren't for Gretchen. So go. she played a really big part in me like finding having confidence in myself because during that time of like theater when and figuring out what I what it was that I wanted to do as a teenager, I didn't really have any confidence in myself until yeah. I started going to camp there and Gretchen was my music teacher and she does not know any of this. She takes yeah. no credit for it, which she should. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how that happened and she was like I want you to do this. And I was like, okay. <laughs> That's cool. I, I think that, you know, being up on stage just adds confidence to you. You know, it's it's probably really tough. Or I know it's tough the first few times, but I've been trying to get my kids into uh, to music or, you know, arts of some kind, just so that they are used to being uncomfortable. You know, getting comfortable being uncomfortable. It's important in life. I was talking to a cast member last night. She's a project manager for a construction company. And she said one of her biggest fears is public speaking. Yeah. And she had done stuff like this as a kid. And she felt like this was a way she's, she's not, you know, in a background role, but she's getting through it past her comfort zone, getting used to being in front of people, getting used to having people look at her. And it makes all the difference in the world. It certainly makes it different for me. I mean, I, I, I spend my, my career going around speaking to people. And the fact that I've done it all on stage makes all the difference. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a completely invaluable skill to have. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, cool. If you want to go to the show, um, go to Dunwoody United Methodist or DunwoodyUMC.org. You can find tickets there. It's October 4th, 5th, and 6th. Um, anything else you guys want to mention before we go? Thanks for having us on. I always appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Thanks for coming back on. Leo, it's really nice meeting you. Maybe Me I'll too. see you one of those days. That's, um, I think, the 5th I can actually hit. So, nice. Cool. All right. Well, good luck, guys. All right. Thanks, Matt. Thank you.